This is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I coach people. I'm a job search leadership coach. I help people with navigating the job search process better and being successful once they're in the new role. I do other forms of coaching as well, but here I'm going to focus in on those elements as part of answering this question. The question is, why are gaps in a resume uh, an issue during an interview? This is a question that was asked of me by someone, and I thought this would be a great question to respond to. Now, let me ask you a question. If you were buying a car and you saw a dent in it, what would you think? The car was less valuable to you than the asking price. So why would you pay full price for that car if it had a dent in it, right? And if firms see a pattern of behavior where there are lots of gaps in the, in the resume, it becomes a source of investigation. They want to find out, is it you or circumstances? And you is you have no perseverance because there's always something that goes wrong in the way of work, in the world of work. So understand that from their perspective, they want to know whether you can persevere through difficulties or whether you're a quitter. That's one element of it. The most obvious one is really the one that they care about most, which is, are they interviewing someone else's failure? I remember when I was a beginner in recruiting, and maybe it was my first or second week, <coughs> excuse me, and I was interviewing someone who had been on 19 interviews, had never been in a job for more than uh, eight months, had really changed over. They were not a consultant or attempt. They were full-time employees at all these places. And, you know, I asked them, so why have you changed jobs? And they came up with an answer that would have been okay if it had just been in one or two places, but when we're dealing with six or seven, it wasn't plausible. It was about him. So let's look at it from your perspective. If an employer tells you, you know, I've had six people in this role now. They last about six months and then they leave. What are they telling you? They're telling you that number one is the job is awful and people are fleeing it. Number two, they're also maybe telling you that I as a manager, <laughs> I'm awful and you should run before you ever get involved with me. The same is true of you too. When you're on an interview and they're seeing gaps, they're wondering why they're talking to you because they take it as a message that in some way, shape, or form, others have judged you and seeing you as the person most likely to fail and they've gotten rid of you. I'm obviously caricaturing there a little bit, but fundamentally, that's the issue. They think it's you and they're looking for some plausible reason why it isn't. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, you're watching on YouTube, share it, leave a comment, click the like button, do something that lets people know it's worthwhile. Let me just see now. Yeah, there. If you're going to watch it on YouTube, by the way, if you, if you click the little button that's going to be down there, uh, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and you'll get notified whenever a new video comes out. I've got thousands of people who follow me. I hope you join that as well. So I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. If you're interested in my coaching, you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward, the, uh, forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Once we're connected, just message me. We'll set up a time for a discovery call. And if you just have a couple of questions for me, you can reach me through an iOS app called Magnify, M-A-G-N-I-F-I, or through PrestoExperts.com. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Hope you have a great day. Take care.